All right, in this video, we're going to take an image and uh, or an inventor part file and create an STL to be able to send that to the 3D printer to actually 3D print our design in Autodesk Inventor. So this is uh, a design that I did that I want to make a casting out of. So it has some taper and things like that in a previous video you might have seen. So we're going to take this design right here and we go to the inventor I, hold over save as and use save copy as. Now, save copy as is basically going to tell you, you know, hey, where do you want to save your stuff at? I'm going to go ahead and save it in my machining projects folder. And over here is the save as type. That needs to be changed to STL. That's the file, stereolithography file that the 3D printer understands. Before you click save, click options. Very common that this will be set to centimeters, okay? You want it at inches. Very important for us to communicate properly with the printer in this file right here. So save that to inches and then go ahead and hit OK. Now you can go ahead and save that. Once that's saved, you can open up the Catalyst EX 4.4. And, you know, this version might change by then, but Catalyst EX is the software. I'll go ahead and maximize that so you can take a look. This is our 3D printer software. File, open STL. And it's going to default and say, all right, well, where'd you save that at? And I got to go back and find out where I saved that bad boy at. And there's my STL or 3D print utility file open. And it says very, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yes, convert that to inches. Right now it looks kind of funky. Uh, it's kind of sitting in the cube. This is the build area right here, by the way. Um, some things we can do here. I'm going to go ahead and just go sparse high density for this, this model because I'm going to be casting it. You also have the choice to make it solid um, or low density. So we'll just go with that to start with so you can get a little idea what it looks like. Everything else stays the same here. Click over one tab to orientation. As you click the orientation, I usually click auto orientate. And that button usually does what we want it to do. So it's going to build from the bottom up and that looks pretty good. One more tab over to pack. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it builds. So we're gonna go ahead and process the STL. This is support material, this is build material. We're gonna click add to pack. All right, then when I click pack right here, and this shows my football. It's gonna be about two inches by one inch or so, somewhere right in there, or two, four, six, eight, my bad. Uh, a little under four inches, a little less than an inch. These are two inch by two inch blocks. Uh, over here tells me how much it's going to cost me and also how long it's going to take. Basically, you add the model and support materials together and you multiply that by uh, $5 and that's how much it costs to print this particular model. So um, not, not a real hard concept, but uh, um, unfortunately for us, the 3D printer is not free. So uh, 0 0.64 plus 0 0.18 equals times $5 is going to be about 4 bucks for this. 3D print. Uh, less than the cost of a Happy Meal, so I think we're still doing okay. So this is the file you need, and if I was going to have this hooked up to the printer, I'd go ahead and hit print right now, and it would send it to the printer, and it'd start printing that bad boy. It's as easy as that to get a model from Inventor to an STL into the 3D printer software, and of course, for you to figure out how much it's going to cost to do what you want to do. From there, if you don't like that, you can always make changes to the model and, uh, and um, you know, go from there. Any questions, go ahead and contact Mr. Benham or Mr. Ryerson. Uh, thanks.